Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Girl with the Scalpel. This is Dr. Mehek and I'm here to help you out fulfill your American dream of practicing as a dentist in the United States of America. And today again, I have a very special video for you. Again, a disclaimer based on the feedback which I received from my previous videos. My research is totally, this, this video is totally based upon my research and what I have gained from these websites. Again, I am in any which way, I am not discouraging anyone or I am not uh, telling you about the financial status or the your uh, status in the particular country. All I am talking to you or telling you is about how you can fulfill your dream of practicing as a dentist in the United States. Now, these pathways might or might not include certain amount of money. Now, that decision is totally based upon you or any of the your listeners or viewers who are watching this video. This is totally based upon my research and you can do your research at your end so that you get to know all the pros and cons of the situations and then make a decision. So the today's video is again a very special video. It is about how you can get a dental license without any additional degree in the United States as a foreign trained dentist. Now again in the last video I told you about the residency options where you can choose without giving the INBDEs. Now in this video i'll be talking about a hidden pathway where you can practice as a dentist but again it's a long process there are many steps which you need to follow it might be time consuming but again it is i guess one of the most cost effective methods although time consuming but cost effective so let's dive into today's video again don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you get an update whenever i upload a video so let's get started with today's video so which is that place where you can practice without giving your INBDEs, without getting the ada approved dds or dmds or without doing residency that hidden place is minnesota that's the answer to your question but how to get into minnesota so there are simple seven key steps which you need to follow again it's a a very long process it might be time consuming but at the end it will be worthwhile so beginning on with the first step now as you all know who all are aspiring to give the INBDEs what you need to do is you need to get your ECE done or your educational credentials evaluated now the that is done by the ECE evaluators or the WES evaluators but here's the catch for Minnesota you have to send your documents that is basically to an educational evaluating company which is the foreign credential service of america the address would be given down in the description box you can look and check out all the details of the description now basically the minnesota board of dentistry will make the sole judgment based upon case to case and whether the educational credentials are equivalent to those of the united states and whether you meet these standards or not now this is basically the foreign services of america is again a third party educational evaluation center and all the information are the advisory to the board and are not intended to persuade the authority of the board then coming on to the second step after you have sent your documents for evaluation and you have received the evaluations what you will do is you should submit certain documents now what are these documents now these documents include first a non-refundable fee of 200 dollars now it can be check or can be in the form of money order which is payable to the minnesota board of dentistry then you have to send your inbde or nbed part one as well as part two score report you can send it directly or via the ada for the process which most of us are quite familiar with you have to send the details to the ada then second, you have to provide the proof of passing TOEFL or English Prophecy Examination within the past two years. Again, we all are well versed with the TOEFL. Now, there's a certain scoring which you need to get in the particular modules. Now, these module details are given into the website of uh, the Dental Minnesota Board. I will be providing the link to the board where I have gathered all the information and it will become much more easier for you to decide and score well. Then you have to send 
the complete education evaluation again which i was talking about in the step 1 then your curriculum vitae or the resume then the certification of the completion of any of the courses the courses the two links which i will be giving in the description box in this box in the step 2 for the infection control you can complete any of the two modules then a notarized or the certificate certified copy of your dental diploma or degree or e transcripts which have to be mailed to the board of the minnesota or you can even send your original transcripts in a sealed envelope now for documents not issued in the english you have to get a certified translation for that then again a proof of actively practicing clinical dentistry for a sufficient period of time based upon there are four criteria which need to be discussed here that is the duration then the verifiability the scope of the practice and the last date of practice okay then the last point which you need to follow here is the complete international educated dentist questionnaire again i will be providing the link to the questionnaire down in the description box you can check in the step 2 where all the links would be provided then coming on to the next step the next step and one of the most crucial steps now this will be a possible interview which you need to follow again you will appear for the interview only if the committee evaluates the documents which are submitted and provides the applicant with their determination only if you're approved then you can go on to the step of the possible interview again this will be conducted in person and scheduled only once the committee determines the education is equivalent to your u.s dental degree then coming on to the next step that is if the interview is successful then you will be granted the permission to sit in the Minnesota bench test. Again, this is coordinated and it is conducted through the University of Minnesota. The cost will be the responsibility of the applicant and the exam is scheduled when a minimum number of qualified candidates are there. So it won't be like on case to case base. You have to wait for your bench test to be completed. Now, after you have completed your bench test, again, there will be uh, you will get a receipt of, of your passing scores from the bench exam and the board will grant you permission to sit for one of the board approved clinical examinations. Now I have added a screenshot of all the board examinations which are actually approved by the Minnesota Dental Board. You can choose any of these dental board examination. Now, after passing your, these clinical examinations, you have to set a notarized photocopy of these and you have to send it to the Minnesota board so that you will need to draft a permission letter to one of these regional testing boards in order for you to register for the examination. Again, you have to get the passing scores of your bench test and then you have to tell the Minnesota board, then they will issue another application, then you can will send it to these regional examination centers and then you will be eligible to sit for the clinical exam. Now, post this clinical exam, the another step which is very important is completing the Minnesota uh, jurisprudence examination. The link to this examination will be given down in the description box. Again, you have to contact the board of Minnesota to give you the permission to write the examination. Now, all after this, this long process of documentation and examinations, you will get an LGL license application form. The board staff will send you several board approved documents that will clarify your scope to practice and how to write a written agreement and what is the responsibility of the Minnesota supervising dentist and how to petition for an unrestricted license at the, at the end of your three term. Again, you will get this LGL license. Now, under this license, you can practice under a supervised dentist and practice dentistry for three years. After three years, you have to give an examination, a short exam, and then you are eligible for an unrestricted license in the state of Minnesota. So this was what we always wanted. And Viola, you are done with your documentations, examinations, and now you can practice dentistry in the United States in the state of Minnesota. Again, it's a long process. It takes a lot of time, but again, at the end, you will get what you always wanted. That is practicing in the United States. Now, I would end, like to end the video by a small quote, and that is, it is difficult to say what is possible, because yesterday's dream is today's hope and tomorrow's reality. 
Every difficult area gives off a ray of hope and the only immutable certainty is that nothing is certain or unchanging. There's hope without fear and no fear without hope. So this brings me to the end of this video. Again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so you get an update whenever I upload a video. Again, this is totally based upon my perception and my research. You can do your own research as well. Jot down all the pros and cons and then you might come to a certain decision. Again, thank you for today. Bye-bye.